massive open online courses or MOOCs are designed to serve thousands of students at the same time. Although MOOCs have been around for about a decade, clinical disciplines have been slow in introducing this medium. Implant Dentistry MOOC was launched in 2016 as the world's first MOOC in clinical dentistry. Since then, it has enrolled more than 30,000 learners and is still available at Coursera. How do students approach such courses, and what do we know about the way they learn online? We used the data collected from the first run of the course in order to study the learner's online behavior. Two major groups of learners emerged, 26% of the attentive and 74% of the auditors. The attentive learners went through the course in a linear manner and followed the prescribed pathway, taking the modules and lessons in sequence. The auditors, on the other hand, accessed content selectively and went around choosing lessons and modules at will. Among the auditors, we could identify the browsers, who went through a few activities mainly at the initial modules of the course. The test-driven, who revisited lessons especially after taking assessments. And the diggers, who were focused in a few specific topics which they accessed repeatedly multiple times. Among the attentive, we could find the samplers, who did not revisit already accessed content, and the persistent, who were frequently revisiting content, in particular after taking assessments. So, who did better? Well, attentive learners took more assessments and achieved significantly higher grades and completion rates than auditors. This, however, might not be an impact of learning styles, but rather the fact that different learners are expecting different things from the course. For example, novice clinicians and students are likely to follow the linear path of the course, while experienced clinicians might have no interest in completing the full course or assessments, but rather want to access specific content in their area of interest. It was evident that the first run of the MOOC included a wide diversity of learners from undergraduate students to experienced clinicians and specialists, who rated the course very high regardless of how they approached the content. MOOC seems to be a very good way to teach, even with clinical disciplines. They can achieve high enrollment and completion rates as compared to current benchmarks. However, it is the ultimate student-centered environment and the diverse crowd of learners it attracts that we need to factor when we design such courses.